Hi, I'm Hunter Stone Gamble with Gamble's Pastoria, and today I'm going to tell you about uh, some of the beers that we've got over here at Gamble's Pastoria that we uh, brew in-house. Uh, today, our What the Ale um, Beer of the Week is our Italian Dry Stout. Uh, one of the cool parts about our Italian Dry Stout is we've taken some inspiration from uh, a, a Italian Amaro. So first off, there's Carciofo, which the largest uh, known um, Carciofo Amaro is called Chinar. Uh, carciofo in Italian it means uh, it means artichoke so we use the artichoke leaves which are bitter uh, that goes in that along with some cinnamon some cardamom some ginger um, a little black pepper um, and it, it's not not overpowering it's just very subtle in the beer we also um, use Italian malts in it uh, we, we um, um, source those north of Venice um, and so it's got a bunch of Italian ingredients, a lot of Italian uh, influence. Uh, and every beer we do here, we try to give it some sort of Italian flair to it. So it's got kind of a unique, uh, interesting reason for you to try it. Um, and so in this beer, one of the things that we do is we add a little bit of oat to it to give it a little bit more body. Um, and so everything we do at Gamble's Pasteria is made in-house. So we do our own gelatos, we do our own pasta, uh, fresh made in-house. Uh, and so same thing with the beer. Um, before we started, if you've seen me before, uh, odds are it wasn't here. It was with our distillery or with the cidery that we have. Um, but a big thing for us was to, to make sure that we're doing uh, beer that has the same integrity uh, that, our, that our food does. Uh, and so we're not going to just uh, throw a beer on. Uh, to, th to throw a beer on, we really try and give it like an Italian story. Um, and that, that for me is one of the cool things about this beer right here, um, is it isn't just a stout. Um, we really, um, uh, with our, our play on Amaro's within the distillery, we were able to kind of have fun with this. Um, we've got some oak barrels that we had actually made an Amaro with at the distillery that we've put some of this beer in in, in about nine months to a year. We'll, um, we'll, we'll open and we'll, we'll do some uh, some of our first keg casts uh, with um, with this uh, with this stout beer. So Gamble's Pasteria, we're located uh, on 19th and Harvard. My wife and I live just about a mile from here, and we just really wanted to open a family-friendly uh, Italian restaurant with scratch cooking in the neighborhood, um, and we really want to kind of uh, develop this area a little bit more uh, for families. Um, there's Florence Park, there's uh, Mayo Meadows, there's uh, Renaissance not too far from here. Um, you've got the Expo uh, neighborhood. So there's just a ton of neighbor, uh, neighborhoods around here. And so we just think this corridor is a really, really great spot for uh, a mom and pop scratch cooking restaurants. Uh, and so we're actually opening a Tex-Mex barbecue spot uh, just on the other side of this building in the next month. Uh, fun part about that is we'll also be making beer for there and we'll do some uh, Mexican inspired beers um, using different grains like corns and heirloom corn. Um, having a background in distilling, I've got a lot of experience uh, playing with um, corn and different like rices and things like that uh, that are, aren't as widely utilized in American beer. Um, and so we've got a lot of fun things as far as beer wise go in there. Uh, just in, in the same shopping center, we're, we're looking to open a, a pizzeria and brewery. Um, because in, in our pasteria, we get a little bit too busy to spend too much time uh, explaining all the beers. Uh, and so we limit it to um, a lighter beer, uh, normally like a pale ale. Uh, soon it'll be a pils uh, an Italian style pilsner. Uh, and then we do a stout and an IPA. Whereas in our, in our pizzeria, it'll be more of a 21 and up spot. Um, and, and open a little bit later. Uh, and then we'll have a lot more beer that we brew in house. And then we'll also have an extensive wine list. Um, and so just a nice little spot in Midtown that you'll be able to come any day of the week and just uh, be able to grab a drink. Again, this is Gamble's Pastorias, Italian Dry Stout. This is What the Ales Beer of the Week.